Hi, Dr. Ron Benson, um, Barrios and Chiropractic. Um, we're here on May the 8th, 2020. Um, this is a further health series video, and we're day 57 of the COVID. So I have some things that we're going to talk about. We started a, a few weeks back, we talked about some goals, we talked about health goals, I talked about my birthday. So let me just update you with that first because I set some birthday goals. I'm turning 65 on June the 16th um, and I've set some fitness goals. My fitness goals, I wanted to do 20 pull-ups followed by 20 dips. And yesterday um, I was able to do 18 and 18. So I'm right on track with that. But where I'm not good is I set a goal that I wanted to lose 11 pounds of fat. My uh, my goal weight wanted to be 168 on my birthday, and I started at 179. And you know, I went on my ski trip. You know, you eat there, and you go know, your skiing, and then the shutdown. We've all probably gained a couple during the shutdown, right? So, but what I wasn't thinking about was the fact that I've been putting some muscle on, and I put about four pounds of muscle on the last week. So I'm only down at 175. So I got five more weeks. I got some hard work to do, but I set my health goals because really what it's all about is when we think about things, we don't really think about life. We don't think about health. And I think that's what we need to do because in America, uh, 25, 30 years ago, we were number two worldwide in health. Now the World Health Organization says we're number 79 in overall health. I mean, there's places in, in Africa where there's famine and kids dying that are healthier than the U.S. The U.S. is the, probably the sickest place in the world and we spend double the money on care. Here's the problem. We call it health care, but it's not health care. It's sick care. You only go to the doctor when your body's run down, when you're broke down, when you're sick. And when we go for sick care, we take medications. What we're not hearing in this whole conversation right now about COVID is responsibility. Your responsibility is to take care of your health so you don't become a statistics. We talked about how the people with dying from COVID are not just elderly, but they're sick. They have high blood pressure, they have diabetes, they're sick. And here's what's almost crazy. Sometimes we take a pill for one thing and it causes another thing. So here's the number one category of people dying in COVID. They're elderly and they're on a high blood pressure medication. Science has now shown the reason these people dying of the high blood pressure medications with COVID COVID attaches to an enzyme called ACE, A-C-E. High blood pressure medications affect that ACE enzyme, make the COVID more easy to attach to it. So just like I've always said, if you're healthy, you don't have to be worried about getting sick. So if I was to ask you on a scale of 10 to one, how freaked out are you? 10 is totally freaked out about COVID. I'm a one. I am not freaked out about COVID at all. If you're higher than a five, then you really need to take a look. Are you doing healthcare or are you ignoring yourself? Because I believe when we talk about responsibility and your responsibility, you have to look at your intention. Do you want to be sick the last 10 years of your life on the blood pressure medicine, on the opioids? We we know that 59 or more percentage of people on disability for back pain, neck pain, and headaches, they were taking a medication. That's the reason for opioids. And I am the opioid chairman for the California Chiropractic Association. We help uh, Evan Lowe, our assemblyman here in, the, in San Jose, write a bill, AB 888, uh, about opioid prescriptions and uh, informed consent and referral to a chiropractor or physical therapist to treat these problems. Unfortunately, that bill is now shelved because of the COVID crisis. The reason I got into that is I see so many people on medications 
for the things that we do so well with. And here's one of the books that I've read because of that, and it's called Pharma. I don't know if you can see the subtitle, Greed, Lies, and the Poisoning of America. You need to understand this is investigative reporting. We don't see investigative reporting anymore. This book is 750 pages, 220 pages of that of this book, about a quarter of this book are references. Not 220 references, 220 pages of references. Some of the things that come out of this book, all these pharma people, they're convicted criminals. They, they have been fined by the government. Their, their executives should go to jail because uh, Mer Merck in 2011, because of Biax, was fined up $1 billion. Biax killed twice as many people as Vietnam in half the time. They should all be in jail. Look at these drug companies. Billions of dollars of fine, not because they hurt someone, but the way they marketed the drug falsely. So, and they knew what was gonna happen. The book details, they know what's gonna happen when you take these medicines. Yeah, it'll lower your blood pressure, but it's gonna cause a stroke. They marketed Biox as a headache and an arthritis medicine. They knew it was gonna cause heart attacks. Their, their studies showed before the drug was released, they knew it was gonna co cause heart attacks. They said, it's still gonna be profitable. Let's go to market. I do not trust pharma companies whatsoever because once you get sick, you take a medication for this, you take a medication for something else. So to me, it all starts with your philosophy. What's your view of reality? My philosophy is the body is intelligent. It knows what to do. We need to take care of it right. Now you wonder, well, why do we get sick? Well, you didn't do something right. So what we gotta do is figure out why you have pain, why you have high blood pressure, why you have stomach, issues what's up with your digestion we got to figure that out so philosophy starts with what's my review my view of reality what do I believe and then I'm gonna ask myself why do I believe it I believe it because I read science science shows that medications cause more problem than they help and that's the truth that's in every book you want to read so my philosophy helps me establish my core values. My core value is I want to live an abundant, prosperous, energetic, healthy life. I want to be fit and lean. Those are my goals. So my core values turn into my goals. I started off by talking about my health goals and I need to take actions. Now let me tell you, your actions are your routine. And your routine, your routine gives you results. If you have a bad routine, you're gonna get results. Bad results. If you have a good routine, you're gonna get good results, and you're not gonna end up on those medications. The three top causes of death in America are heart, cancer, and prescription drugs. The last thing you wanna do is get on a prescription drug. We can talk more about my philosophy, but I wanna make this about you. What's your philosophy? Does your health need to be up? Because health is up here, sickness is down here, death and disability are down here. Where are you in the spectrum? You need to slide yourself up as high as you can get. So when we talk about, are you totally freaked out at a 10 about COVID? Or are you down here at a one and you know your immune system's strong? You know you're healthy, you're not in the risky category. So if you do have neck pain, back pain, headaches, and you're not currently seeing your chiropractor or seeing me, let me be your wellness doctor. Keep your sick care doctor. You get sick, you need to, to see them so you stay alive, but come back in. Let's figure out what you need for health care. It's your responsibility to get healthy. So if you're seeing this video and you're going, this makes sense and I haven't been to see Dr. Benson in a while, or you've never been, Call the office, we'll give you a special offer. 408-258-0812. It's a special offer. It's no, it's no gimmick. 
you're going to pay, you need to pay. It's your responsibility to help get healthy. I'll figure out what we can do for you, and I'll give you things to do at home. So thank you very much. We appreciate it.